All right, so this one is first of array. Uh, implement a generic called first that takes an array parameter t and returns the first element type. So we get an example here, uh, type array. This looks like a JavaScript array, you know, but it's like a TypeScript type. And then when you pass in that type, it gives you back the value of whatever is the first thing. Um, so I want to say before we start, this actually has quite a few solutions. Um, so hopefully, like, we'll, we'll I'll show you at the end. I prepared some things that I found from the community of how people answered this. But what are your first inklings right off the bat, Aaron? Um, so, you know, we're dealing with a generic, and I want to add some sort of constraint on the generic, probably, I guess, um, mm -hmm. saying that it, it should be an array of probably anything. Okay. Um, and then now that I know on the right that I'm dealing with some sort of array, maybe I can do T of zero. Yeah, I mean T zero is the is the like most obvious thing that works. The only problem is what happens. You can see an A three here. You get undefined when the array is empty. When you expect never. Maybe I can do a ternary on the right to handle that. Okay. Um, so maybe I can say T extends an empty. I'm gonna format array. you while we go. Um, if it's that, then never false return. Nope, that broke everything. It's. Yeah, I think you just did the, the oh, syntax I had it backwards. Had the ternary backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Bing, bing, bing. That's a. That's one of the. Uh, one of the things. It's equivalent in JavaScript. Just for so two little things. It's equivalent to say like uh, any array. Um, you don't know this, but I, if we can stick to, like, we'll, we'll do that, I guess, uh, in the challenges, um, sort of arbitrarily. And then the other thing is, uh, a thing I always like to do is see if, um, if everything still works, if you can substitute unknown. And in this case, it does. All right. Um, so let me show you. Oh, the one you came up with was like the one that I came up with as well. That was, uh, I think it's like the most obvious one. So here are a bunch of, oh, I copied that as well, a bunch of the other solutions. So this is the one we already had. They're very similar in looks, but we'll just look through them. So this one says if t.length extends zero. So that's like pretty much equivalent to saying, like, is it an empty array? So that's kind of a funny thing that this has a static value, but it does when there's tuples involved. And these are tuples, technically, not just arrays. This one here, uh, t extends never array. It also works to put like never as a inside of a tuple. Um, so a never array is what an empty array is. It's an array, but it doesn't have any values. So that's the same way of saying that. This one uses inference. So it's saying t extends, and then it's grabbing the first one from like as head. And this is how inferencing works with arrays. It'll grab the first item, and then the rest get their own thing. Um, Otherwise, it'll return never. So that works. Um, N A G Q. I don't know what that means. Why did I put that there? Okay. Anyway, um, the the next one. Oh, that's the name of the user. Okay. Right. 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 Uh, <laughs> that's the this person was on the TypeScript type challenges that added this one. I thought this was pretty interesting. This is saying um, this allows us to use T zero, which is kind of an interesting. Uh, the next couple do. So if T zero extends t uh, passing in number, which is like some value of the array, uh, then return it. Kind of interesting. Man, there are so many of these. I feel weird t going through so many. But uh, if 0 extends key of t, <laughs> that one's like, um, I don't know. We're getting into the weeds now, I suppose. Um, let's see here. Well, well, that also gives give you an object, though, that has 0 as a yeah key, key of which t. I guess I guess arrays are objects, maybe. With yeah, they are. So zero is a key of the. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly the hack. Um, so yeah, it's a little, it's a little silly like that. And then um, let's see what else is here. Uh, first, um, this is using inferencing again. Um, you can use any array, or you can use any. It doesn't really matter. You can use any and any, and then grab t zero, which is a funny hack. Um, you can do that. You can do this even, which I didn't know you could do. Uh, you can say, does it extend an array where the first value is the value of the first thing? It's kind of like circular, but it works. 
Uh, and then this is just a way of doing it with extract. This is basically the thing we saw above, this one, is basically what extract is. So if I hit F12 on this, we'll be taken to the TypeScript definition for this. And it's basically saying, does T extend U give us T otherwise never? And that's what this is saying. Does key of T extend zero? You know, same process. This one does not work. And the reason it doesn't work is because uh, T0, if you're, it's checking if T0 extends un undefined. Don't forget though that it and there's a case just for that. It is possible to have an array of which the values are just the value undefined. Um, so that would fail in this case. It works in all the other cases, but that one fails there. So anyway, um, cool. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was fast. But there's a lot of ways to handle this. It turns out. Any any thoughts on any of that? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Cool. On to the next one then.